don't know what the girls gonna do because if they ain't team Stacy, I just don't know. Like if they not part of this team, they don't know how to look like this. It's just that like it's that simple. Like. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so let's go ahead and get right into the video. First things first, I want to give a big thank you to Hurella for sponsoring this video today. They did go ahead and send me this 13 by 4 highlight body wave wig. Okay. Now you guys can't really see the, the curls in it because I did wash, blow dry, plug, bleach, all of that. So after all that, it kind of straightened out. But we're gonna bring the curls back as you guys can see. It's giving it's giving Beyonce. Beyonce, Beyonce, Beyonce. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just install this wig, y'all. I want you guys to just be proud of me and I want y'all to comment down below like the hand clapping emojis because today we are not just doing a middle part or a side part or you know, no part. We are doing a half up, half, half down with the little bang yangs and I'm so proud of myself like for doing something different. But I did go ahead and just take some ghost bond to glue this wig down. Also some free spray just to really keep this wig, you know, on and give myself a little jade away to facelift. Okay, period. So after that, I'm gonna put that elastic band on for 10 minutes and yeah, she was about ready to come off. She damn near flew off my head. The lighting in these in these clips are going to be alternating and changing because this hair is so light that when I have my ring light on, it like kind of looks like my skin color a little bit, so I can't really see. So hopefully you guys don't mind that the color is going to change, you know, multiple times. Also, my lace was lifting. I, I did fix it, so don't come for me okay i did fix it. i was just trying stuff out so after i finally got the hair how i wanted it i just you know molded it up and i was getting ready to put it in its ponytail i absolutely love 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 this hair like it is it is a perfect density i think it's 150 all the information on this hair will be linked down below with links to purchase and discount codes everything this hair curled amazing it held its curl amazing as you guys can see in the beginning of the clip it was straight and that wasn't even with a straightener that was just from blow drying and stuff like that and then now we're bringing the curls back and it's it's there it's it, it held okay Alrighty guys, so this is what the hair looked like without me combing out the curls. It was giving, you know, it was giving cute. But y'all know we was gonna have to comb them curls out and, you know, just make it a little bit more fluffy. And I wanted to be real different today and add some bubbles. I forgot what these are called. Comment down below what you guys used to call these. I called them bubbles, but I added the bubbles and it was so cute. It is 2.55 a.m. Okay, guys, so as you guys saw, we did go ahead and install this wig. Y'all, this wig is so freaking cute. Like, oh my gosh, I've never did my own hair like this ever in my whole entire life. Usually when I put my wigs on, I do like middle parts, side parts, no part. You know what I'm saying? But I'm I'm getting ahead of myself now. Now I'm, I'm out here doing a thing. But yeah, so this hairstyle was not the easiest to achieve, but the hair is just giving. All the information on this hair will be linked down below with the promo code and just to purchase this for yourself. I'm really excited for the look that I'm gonna, you know, achieve for today. Today I wanted to do like a pop of pink, but simplistic makeup. So no eyeshadow work, just eyeliner. We're gonna just do a nice, quick little face beat. Nothing too crazy. Okay, you guys already know, we gotta cleanse the skin. Also, while I'm cleansing my skin, let me just let you guys know. I don't know if it's showing up on camera. I get bags when I get tired. It's kind of crazy. Like, you can hang out with me all day and I have like no bags, but you literally can see it on my face when I'm tired. And I'm getting a little, a little, a little bit sleepy. Just a little bit. Nothing too crazy. I just wanted to give you guys a little FYI. Okay, I'm not getting beat up. Okay, it's just, I'm a little sleepy. We just wanted to moisture, I'm not moisturize, but cleanse the skin. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just put the moisture back in. As you guys know, I like to use my e.l.f. skin. Holy Hydration Moisturizer. That's literally my favorite moisturizer. 
hands down right now, okay? We're gonna go ahead and take the e.l.f. Power, Power Grip Primer. This is also my favorite hydrating primer. Um, I think it is a, such a good dupe for the Milk um, Primer because it is like so sticky and hydrating like it's sickening like I love it like but this one y'all see every time I put this primer on I gotta show y'all the stickiness of it like this is going to grip that foundation period I'm gonna go ahead and take my Fenty Beauty foundation uh, this is the hydrating one and it is in color 345 as you guys see I'm almost done like I'm literally almost done with this have to buy a new hydrating foundation but I don't want to get the same one I would love for you guys to comment down below what hydrating foundations you guys like to use. Like drugstore, high-end, doesn't matter. I wanna know because I wanna try a new one. I'm gonna go ahead and take the foundation and I'm just gonna do one and a half pumps. I'm just gonna get this all over the skin. You guys know I don't like to put too much foundation on my forehead so I do one dot there but then everything else gets extra TLC, okay? I'm just gonna go ahead and just stamp this into my skin going up and down as if this was a beauty blender. No swiping, no wiping, no twirling, just pushing this into the skin, okay? And I've asked you guys before but now that we have so many new teammates, our team has grown so freaking much. I do wanna know what do you guys like to use to blend? Do you guys use like beauty blenders or do you guys use a, a brush? Like comment that down below because I really want to know what you guys use to blend. Like what do you use? Uh, this makeup look, I don't want to do too much. I want it to look like we did a lot. Like we really put that work in, but I really want it to be like a quick like be Like just real quick, real simple. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> why am I talking like that? You know, y'all know I'm crazy. I don't know why y'all thought I wasn't. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take my Light Beige Elf Camo Concealer and we are just going to put it right under our eye. Pull it on our forehead, down the bridge of our nose and on our chin. But we're gonna go ahead and just blend this out. So I'm just gonna push this into the skin nice and firm i'm using my real technique sponge i have like a small it's very very minor it doesn't like give me the ick or anything when people call like any sponge that they get a beauty blender because a beauty blender is actually a brand like you know that's like calling just because you have a purse it's like oh could you go past my birkin and it's in my course like it's a like you can't just i don't know it's really stupid, but I literally do it too. Like I was editing my video the other day and I'm and I'm saying like, okay, so now I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm like, bro, that is a $7.99 sponge from Walmart. It's a small pet pee, but I thought I should share that with you guys. And I wanna know, does anybody else share that pet pee? <laughs> but now that we're on topic of sponges, I just wanna say Kiss has some really good sponges. They have these really pink fluffy sponges that sold at the beauty supply store and it's 10 out of 10, better than real techniques similar to beauty blenders. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and shut up and, and turn up the music, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna turn the music up. Yeah, you ain't really fuck with me way back then, girl. How about now? Cause I'm up right now. Hey, you suck right now. Oh, you thought you had it all figured out back then, girl. How about now? Cause I'm up right now. Hey, you suck right now. Yeah, you thought the little effort that you put in was enough. Alrighty guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up my face. As you guys saw, we blended that concealer, we put that setting powder. Y'all see, I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I switched to setting powder. Instead of using my regular Degler Anastasia Beverly Hills, I tried out the Airspun, which is a drugstore setting powder. And y'all just gotta give me a little love for that. Can I get a little round of applause? Like, y'all know I be using the same makeup products because I just love what I love, but. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and bronze the skin. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Morphe Glamour Bronze and this is the color Phenon. Today I feel like bronzing rather than contouring. This bronzer is deep for my skin tone anyway, so I feel like it's gonna give kind of like a two-in-one. If you need an in-depth, detailed, beginner-friendly tutorial on how to contour, also how to bronze, and what's really the difference between contour, bronzer, placement, all of that, all of that. I just dropped a video recently, um, and I will link it up above so you can check that out, and it'll be linked down in my description box. Ugh, I just love bronzing, guys. It just brings color back to the skin. 
skin like ooh. and because today I want to give like a QT kind of vibe I'm gonna go ahead and take my um, blush palette this is the Nika case um, berry blush palette we're gonna take that shade there it's like a like a plum kind of color like a plummy red so we're just gonna go ahead and take that with today's look we really want to keep it like kind of cutesy and like colorful so yeah we definitely want to use blush today definitely um so i actually bought this it's a lip liner from ruby kiss this is the fuchsia color it looks like this it's just something i got from the beauty supply store and i'm gonna use that in my waterline just so we can have some bright pop of pink Do y'all see that? Woo! That pink is so vibrant. No. No, 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 no. Stop what you're doing. Go to your nearest beauty supply slash hair store and go pick up the Ruby Kisses lip. This is called the Intense Lip Liners. This is better than the NYX Vivid Brights. This was so easy to apply. It was so creamy. Do you guys see the intensity of this color? I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely blown away. Ruby Kiss, I wanna work with you guys. Email me. <laughs> I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty Highlighter and this is in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. I like it cause it's like a nice kind of like sparkle to it. So we're just gonna throw that on the cheeks. Nothing too much though, nothing too much. We're gonna blend that out with our hands. We're gonna make sure, you guys know I love me a mean nose highlight though, I can't lie. I like my nose highlight to be very, very striking. And then I like to put it here. I don't like to connect the line though. That's just a personal preference. We're gonna do under the eyebrow. <sighs> Y'all, stop it. Like, bro, what? I don't know if I wanna put the same pink on my lid. Cause like, I don't really like bright colors, but you know what, let's do it. Let's do it, let's, let's do a bright pink lip while we at it. Why not? I'm gonna tell y'all why not right now. I'm just really not into the bright colors. So I did go ahead, like you guys see, I'm lining my lips with the pink liner, but I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because I have big lips or it's just, I don't like bright colors, but I did go ahead and change it. Um, and you guys will see that in some later clips. But I do want to show you guys what it looks like just in case, you know, someone wants to follow this look and they might want to do pink. They might want to do that bright pink. They can pull it off better than me. So, yeah. And I just set with my Kiss Matte Finishing Setting Spray. Alrighty guys, so that is the end of today's video. As you guys see, I did go ahead and change the lip combo. I wasn't feeling it. I feel like it was just too raw. You know what I'm saying? A little bit too raw. I ain't wanna give all of that. So I went back to my OG brown lip liner with the nude lipstick. That is just my favorite. If you guys love content like this and you guys want me to try out different styles and different looks, please, please, please comment that down below so I can keep doing that for you guys. Um, go ahead and comment this secret emoji right here so I know you are the GOAT and you made it this far. Thank you so much for watching this long. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you haven't already, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, join the team, and just do it like Nike. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.